Shut up and sit down. Hey, you skellywags. After a few months hiatus, we're back. Back again with the 118 Toy News. Now to address the big elephant in the room, there have been a few ups and major downs in my personal life with my mental health, health in general, and loss of loved ones. Rather huge story arcs which have prevented me from delivering videos on a more regular basis basis. The one thing besides family and friends to get me through is this hobby and addiction we love so much. And honestly, I'm happy to be once again spreading the good word of the toy gods. Due to the sheer amount of toy news, this will be Joy Toy centric, but we'll swing back around on the next episode. The rumours are true! Just one post from Joy Toy confirming their intention of creating new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set the internet in a frenzy. Even channels who don't cover Joy Toy gave this news the time of day. And thanks to Awesome Action Toys, we now know that this will be 118 scale. Thank God. Watch out, Fury Toys. Hopefully, more on this soon. And by the way, go check out Adam from Awesome Action Toys. In true Joy Toy fashion, they've announced and released a wealth of products in the time that I've not been covering the news. So next are toys that are out and shipping now. Q Montage.
With that down, we now move on to upcoming releases. With the NATO Defense Forces 13th Assault Squad, Joyto are up to their clever tricks again by kit bashing and color swapping previous releases to bring us something new, yet familiar, very affordable. Some of these faces we've seen a good number of times now, like actors playing different roles. Rumors of a Jang Hu mech leaked earlier this year with still no confirmation, but we do have the Northern Hanland Empire with white feather snowfield archery cavalry and heavy cavalry. I've still got a few Jang Hu figures and horses to feature on the channel, but these look like a huge step up. Here's something new from Infinity. If I'm not mistaken, I believe these are the first Yujing figures we're getting from Infinity with the Black Ops Tiger Soldier Team and Special Action Team Tiger Soldier Team. Don't get me wrong, these figures do look good, but there's something about them that's not quite clicking with me. I'm still curious enough to want to see them in hand, but with so much vying for my attention and my wallet looking pretty barren, I've got some important decisions to make. We now move on to our regular 40k update. First up and just announced, we have a kind of boring color swap of the Adeptus Custodes Terminator in Alaris armor, which looks pretty good, but may still have the flaws of the previous release and will now not look as imposing next to some of the newer Terminators that have been released. We finally get an Apothecary, and surprise, surprise, he's representing the Ultramarines. Looking thick and chunky, clad in all white, my favourite little bit of detail, the little pair of scissors in his front pocket. Very snippy. Also from the Blueberries, we have the Jump Pack Intercessors Squad, which are basically flying space marines that are able to reach the highest of heights without breaking a sweat. But in the same vein and probably looking more impressive as it's something other than the boys in blue are the Blood Angels version of the Jump Pack Intercessors. Like their UM brethren, the slightly more chunkier look really suits the lads in blood red. But the star of the BA show is Commander Dante, the man, the myth, the legend who just can't get a break and die. One of the few characters that transcends the franchise, the gold used for the armor looks great. Let's hope that this translates outside of the promo picks in hand. So it's also fitting that we'll also be getting a rerun of the Blood Angels veterans. This four pack was very impressive on first release and rumors are that they've improved them with the new knees. Speaking of reruns, the UM Redemptor Dreadnought Tylius will be shipping soon, giving me an excuse to finally feature mine on the channel. And one of the more decorated space marines entombed in the Dreadnought is Bjorn the Fell Handed, also getting a rerun. And again, will be appropriate for me to add a video on my channel. Also joining Bjorn from the Vilka Fenrika is Ragnar Blackmane. You can catch a video of him on the channel right now. These guys are all due this month, I believe, so look out for that. Moving on to the Horus Heresy, but sticking with the Sixth Company, we have the Contemptor Dreadnought. And in true Space Wolves fashion, this includes more detail than your average Dreadnought from other chapters, and in my very biased opinion, looks better than the rest. Gygor Fellhand of the Space Wolves is the first unique character figure announced by Joy Toy for Horus Heresy, and boasts a haircut straight out of the 80s. The Space Wolves Deathsworn pack have been announced, and all have a similar fashion sense but with straps and other small details to differentiate from one another. However, they all have the exact same weapons loadout, 
which does comprise of an impressive looking axe and bought gun. Also wielding the same type of weapons loadout but clad in Terminator armor are the Space Wolves Varagir Wolfguard Squad. But unlike the Deathsworn are all exactly the same besides the charms hanging from the front skirting and of course their beautiful unique unhelmeted heads. Really awesome to see more Terminator Space Wolves but we could really do with their 40k counterparts. Last but certainly not least is Papa Wolf himself, Lehman Russ. Again in my very biased opinion, the Primarch of the 6th Legion has the best looking armour detail compared to his other Primarch brethren released by Joytoy. He has two lovely unhelmeted heads to show off his blonde flowing locks, a number of weapons, some of which can be stored away, a shield that can go on his back, and pistol with extra play feature. Currently my most anticipated release. We have some dreadnoughts on the way, the Imperial Fist with Cyclone Melter Lance and Storm Cannon, and the Leviathan Dreadnought with Siege Drills. These two designs I'm liking more than the Contemptor Dreadnoughts that have been announced. We have another Legion Praetor from the Sons of Horus with a Power Fist with a more distinct design compared to the other Praetors already out from Joy Toy. Joining him are the Sons of Horus Tartarus Terminator Squad, looking as impressive as all the other Terminators Joy Toy are currently churning out, which also includes the Justerian Terminator Squad, which is currently shipping now, and following them to lead, shipping this month, is Ezekiel Abaddon the first captain of the 16th Legion. Looking suitably imposing, he'll stand a bit taller than your other figures in Terminator armor and is designed to work perfectly with the main man himself. Warmaster Horus, Primarch of the 16th Legion and the poster boy of the Horus Heresy. The level of detail on this piece is outstanding. Horus will be the largest of all the Primarchs his design suggests that he could be quite top heavy, so we'll see if that's something Joy Toy will address. But he looks to have all the usual articulation underneath, nonetheless. We'll finish off this episode with something brand new and just announced by Joy Toy their new Roman figures in 118 scale called Strife. Each of these figures has unique armor and weapons loadout and they all seem to use the same base buck which is a brand new buck that was uh, teased or leaked a few months ago and they seem to have brand new bicep uh, swivel as well as butterfly joints joyto seem to really be getting behind this release as they've also announced a special edition with a load of other different things you can get inside I'm just really concerned about the figures, so I'd like to get them in hand. I'd like to see how much of the armor can be taken off for customizing. But besides obviously my want to customize, the figures themselves and what they come with look excellent. And I'm looking forward to whatever else they release from this line, as well as anything else they may come up with. So that's it for now. Joy Toy centric episode over. There's a lot to go through. I will be doing a 118 toy news with updates on Acid Rain, Hasbro, uh, Boss Fight Studios and all that. Maybe in the next couple of videos time. So look out for that. But in the meantime, check out uh, other content and more to come. Got a big box of Joy Toy stuff to go over. Thanks to Joy Toy for sending that. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll scale you later.